In this video, we will consider using lattice graphics to create bar charts. And to create a bar chart, we will make use of a small data set based on food and agricultural commodity production in the UK in the year 2007. We will first create a data frame for this data and save it as the data object UK 2007. So if we copy and paste the command we want to use from a text file into the R system, we'll see here that we're making use of the function data.frame and we specify two columns, the first of which is called commodity, which is an ordered factor based on an ordering of the five food and agricultural commodities from the largest to the smallest production. The second column is the actual production in thousands of metric tons. We submit this command and save it to the object UK2007. If we type UK2007 into R and submit that command, we will print it out to the console. In the lattice light package, first of all, which we load using the require function, there is a command bar chart which can be used to create bar charts. So for this example, we will make use of the formula which specifies the object variable to put on the vertical axis first, followed by the x axis. So in this case, the variable production is our y variable and the variable commodity is the x variable. We then need to specify the data frame where this information is stored with the data argument. And if we submit that command, we will end up with our basic bar chart. Now, some other things that we might want to do is to add axis labels and a title to the chart. So the way we would do this is to use three arguments, the xlab, ylab, and main arguments and re these respectively put a text label against the x-axis, y-axis and the overall title. So we specify xlab equals and as we want this to relate to the commodities we simply put the text string commodity. Ylab is used to specify what appears on the vertical axis which is the production in thousands of metric tons and lastly we specify the overall title with the argument main, which will be UK 2007, top 5, food and agricultural commodities. So we submit that command, take a look at the graph again, and now we'll see we have the same graph as we had before, but with labels on the X, Y axes, as well as an overall title. 